Lower body pull day. What the hell is a lower body pull day? You see people go in doing a little bit of hamstrings here, hamstrings there. Oh, hell no. We're working everything, everything equally and correctly here. Lower body pull day will be a deadlift focused workout. So weeks one through four, we have this. Wall facing deadlifts. Stand in front of a wall, toes about four to six inches from the wall, grab a dumbbell or kettlebell, and pretty much deadlift. Go down and come up, keep it constant tension, teach you to stay nice and tall with it, keeps your core nice and strong, and also as a way to train yourself to not bend too far forward in a deadlift. Dumbbell Romanian deadlifts. Romanian deadlifts, just like straight leg, except you have a slight bend in the leg, focus on pushing your butt back rather than bending at the waist. And, and the thing about Romanian deadlifts is you just don't want to bend your legs too much. However, you have a slight bend, but you keep that bend consistent throughout the lift, meaning it doesn't go lower or it doesn't go more. It, what it does, it remains consistent throughout the movement, so the slight bend remains a slight bend. Good morning, a great powerlifting movement. Good morning, you simply put the bar in a squat position and you bend forward. Again, just like Romanian deadlifts, focus on bending at the waist and not focus on pushing back your butt, but not bending at the waist. So that's one thing you want to focus on when doing a good morning. You focus on bending at the waist, it's just going to snap you up. When you consciously push your butt back, it keeps everything tight. Next would be lying leg curls, lay down, leg curl machine. If you do not have a leg curl machine, you could do this in any kind of situation, use on any type of a, a pulley system. Just make sure you got something to put on your feet, and then curl it up. Or if you have other leg curl variations, like a standing or a seated leg curl, you could do those as well. Next would be seated calves. Simply sit down. Press up with your calves, contract the top, nice and slow on the way down. Weighted cable crunch, make sure to blow out there at the bottom and make sure to tense very, very strongly. And instead of just bending at the waist, make sure to crunch with the abs. First progression of a deadlift, which will also teach you proper form on a deadlift, which means pulling your shoulder blades together, AKA retracting your scapula, and also keeping everything nice and tight, will be a wall facing deadlift. Now you can either hold a dumbbell like this or you could take a kettlebell. You start out with your feet about six inches from the wall. As you get better at this and as you can stand up more upright, you can actually stand close to the wall. So what you're going to do is get your stance, drop down, grab the kettlebell, come up. Come down, boom. Put focus on pushing your knees out, weight, on the outer part of your feet. Coming up. The thing you want to work on with deadlifts, that kettlebell swings actually really help, is a hip hinge. Now, if you're doing a kettlebell swing, your hip hinge so you're basically popping your hips into place. It's that midnight motion, you know what I'm saying? So, if you're doing this, focus on tightening the glutes and getting that midnight motion, all right? So you come down, up, boom. See, I'm thrusting the hips. Come down, boom. And when you're deadlifting normal, as you'll see as we progress on through this workout, that'll be a huge component. The first progression of Romanian deadlifts we're going to do is a dumbbell two leg Romanian deadlift. You grab the dumbbells. Now, we're not bending at the waist. We're actually going to focus on sticking our butt out. And it's a mental thing. You come down, stick your butt out and up. So you're focusing on pushing your butt out, coming up. No rounding the back. The good morning. Think of it as a Romanian deadlift without holding the bar. Now, this is a, this is a move that's utilized a lot by powerlifters because in the bottom of the squat, sure, you're trying not to bend forward. However, 
it's a muscle group that is used heavily in the squat. The reason I like it, not only does it do great for your erectors and your lower back, however, it puts a lot of great extension on the hamstring. And the best way to build your hamstrings isn't necessarily cur curling, which is an open chain movement, but a nice full compound movement like this really puts great pressure on your hamstring. So leg curls. In your gym, you're gonna have a lying leg curl, a seated leg curl, or a standing leg curl. The progression of this program is it's listed where you do one movement one week, one movement the next, and then one movement the next. Honestly, it's an open chain movement. As long as you're curling your foot up towards your butt, I don't care which one you do. Just do a leg curl. Now, an open chain movement is something that generally athletes, exos trained athletes will avoid because it's not really, it doesn't really prove much. We're already doing a lot of hamstring activation with the functional movements that we're doing, like the you know, Romanian deadlift and things like that. However, since we're going for hypertrophy, we want to look better, best way is to overload the muscle, and like it or not, open chain movements overload the muscle. So simple leg curl, you get up in the seat, you just curl up, squeeze the top, slow down. Seated calf raise, most gyms have machines, some don't. So if you don't have one, simply place some dumbbells towards your knees, legs bent, plate underneath, press up, squeeze, one. Rope cable crunches. Now, a lot of people just bend at the waist. I want you to actually curl your abs which means actually try to bring your nipples towards your waist. All right, try to really contract your abs. So, when you come down, nice, good weight. Hold the rope here, slight angle in the body. Breathe out, crunch hard. Notice I'm not just doing this. That's just using gravity. I actually want you to consciously tuck your stomach. Breathe all the air out. 